David Costable here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you been, David? Uh, I've been all right. How about yourself, my friend? I am doing fine. I'm doing fine. First of all, let's just let's start with your episode. What I like to refer to as your episode. Okay, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate fantastic, that. Fantastic, fantastic work. First of all, how thank did you. you feel after watching it? Um, I was thrilled, delighted, but I'll be right. honest. I'm going to share with you. Uh, just uh -huh. slightly disappointed. Because okay, they left some of your best stuff on the floor? Yes, David. <laughs> yes, right. David. Well, yes, mm -hmm. I actually worked blue for Koppelman and Levine and Showtime. Uh -huh. And I mm -hmm. worked blue, and maybe they were trying to protect me from myself. Because <laughs> it didn't make it. Because it. my favorite line was, and I can't repeat it here, but, you know, the, the fight between Mafia and Dollar Bill was so terrible, I said that if they made a movie out of it, it would be called Raging Bull S, you know. And ah, nice. I thought that was a great line. Yeah. And and you tell me, you, you've you probably been on the business end of this. Cop, yeah. Brian Koppelman comes up, laughs, great job, that was hilarious. Doesn't use it. You Doesn't know what I'm saying? What happened, Dave? It's rough. It's rough. <laughs> Now you know. Now you know what it's really like to be on billions, my friend. So oh. like, people are coming up to you and they're just like, "That was fantastic," and you're like, "Yeah, but you can't even imagine how great it was. <laughs> it was twice as good as what we what you saw." Oh man, uh, when you get a script and you see what they have coming out of your mouth as wags, what is your reaction, oh, yeah. David? <laughs> I mean, usually I laugh. They, they've only, I think, I've only ever twice been. I think I think once in the second season, which I know I cannot say on this program. Yes. Um, it was really just like wow, wow. I'm gonna say that, but I, 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 you know, I get to say all the best stuff there is. Like nobody gets the ever. I get all the juiciest tidbits there are. So. It's fantastic. It's like a, it's like a kid in the Well, I mean, it, it's it's uh, it's you're, it, you you fit right in the role, David. Um, Thank you. And Thank and you. and Thank having you. met you in person, you're you're kind of nothing like the guy, David. Well, at least. you know, when we started, that that is true. When we started, I was the character was when we did the pilot. The character was the complete opposite. I was supposed to be an Upper East Side wasp who was like the man, the quiet man behind the man. And then we shot the pilot, and they saw it, and they were just like. No, we, they cut everything I did, and then they were just like, you, we've got to go complete opposite. No kidding. And I'll tell you, I, unless, because I knew that Brian and David had created the show, I never would have been cast in that role. Nobody but them knew that I could do this and knew that I could turn on a dime. And they're just like, just attack, just attack. <laughs> just attack dog. And I was just like, I can attack. And so all of that, all of that sublimated rage, it just gets to come right out. and not sublimated anymore, baby. It's just out. Well, I mean, that, so it's amazing. So your original character of Wags was supposed to be the exact opposite of who you are currently yeah, sort playing. Of like Tom, Tom Hagen, sort of Tom Hagen-y. Yes, the little godfather yeah. phrase. Okay, yeah. just nice and even keeled behind the scenes, exactly. sort of conciliary exactly. to somebody of exactly. Axelrod's id. And instead, yeah. you're just the exact complete opposite. Now, isn't that amazing? Your character this season is uh, disappointed because uh, one of your children has found religion, and another one, uh, the pole, has it, it's been yeah. described on this program. That is, that is correct. <laughs> that is correct, my friend. He's a sad excuse. He's a sad excuse for a father. Let's just say. <laughs> I don't uh, know if you would want him as your dad. I no, that, that's but it's, all it's funny. because You would again, want him as your drinking buddy, but maybe not your, your dad. Definitely not. Uh, David Constable here on the Rich Eisen Show. And, you know, because, again, when when we met and we, we were chit-chatting uh, behind the scenes, uh, you couldn't have been nicer. And that's the one thing I took oh, from the man. entire, no, honestly, the entire, it just seemed like everybody got along and it was just a fun day, a very long yeah. day, but a fun day. And I asked to take a photograph with you and you smiled. And then I said, can you give me your best wags? And then uh, mm -hmm. you, you you completely changed and flipped the middle finger at the camera. Yeah. And right now we're showing yeah. the split screen. We're, I guess we're seeing the regular you, and then on the right yeah. the wags you. Wags it's yeah. a, and, and that's the switch that you were talking about that you could flip right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, he lives deep inside me. <laughs> all the way in there. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.